Right, so I'm gonna just quickly show you how to do split screen uh, co-op on Borderlands 2 on PC. Since there's no actual setting to enable this, we're gonna go a roundabout way of figuring this out and actually getting split screen to work on PC co-op for uh, Borderlands 2. So let's do it. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is go through your uh, Steam folder. You gotta make sure the game is installed first and then you have to go to your download folder for Steam and then go through all that and then finally find Borderlands 2. And then there and there you're gonna go to binaries and win32. Then here you're gonna you'll find the launcher.exe and the borderlands2.exe. Now if you haven't ran and configured it, uh, I recommend you do that now through the launcher and uh, then you'll be able to do all the settings that you want to do. I recommend putting it, putting it in windowed mode just until you figure everything out so that makes it easier for you to move the, uh, the game windows around from your monitor and uh, configure them the way you would want to. Um, but I already did all that so I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm just going to show you how to do the split screen part. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to take the borderlands 2exe and create a shortcut, which I've already done here. And then you're going to drag that onto the desktop like so. And then you're going to just press copy and paste and have two of them on the same desktop. Then from here, you're just going to rename the first one to player one. I'm going to do that better. Player one. And then you're going to rename the second one to player two. Now these are going to be assigned to uh, two different controllers. So hopefully you're doing this with controllers. I don't know if it's going to work with two different keyboards and mouse, but if you're just using like an Xbox or PS3 controller or PS4 controller, this will definitely work. And I think this is what this is meant to do as well. This little hack we're doing. So from here, once you have these renamed and on your desktop, you're going to want to right click on the first one, player one, and, and go to properties. Now you're going to see the, uh, the target window here. You're just going to click to the right of the uh, uh, the quotation marks and then you're going to do one space. Then from here, you're going to look in the description and you'll find these these codes that we're going to put into the uh, target file. So we, what you're going to want to do is you're going to copy where it says player one and it's going to be dash always focus. So you're going to take that and just copy it or control C and then you're going to do from that space you did in between the quotation marks, you're going to just control V or paste it. And it's going to have dash always focus with a capital A and capital F and spaced in between the quotations and the dash. And then you're just going to press apply and OK. And then for player two, you're going to do the exact same thing. Just go to properties and you'll see the target. Then from the quotation marks, you do one space and then you're going to copy where it says player two in the description and just do from dash always focus to save data ID equals two, control C or copy. And then you're gonna go back to your target and making sure you're, you're one space in between, you do control V or paste and put that there as shown in the uh, in the video. But I just, showed, I just did right there. Then you did do press apply, okay. And that's basically it. So I'm just going to run it for you guys just so you know that it actually does work. Just give me a second to uh, figure everything out and yeah. So as you can see in the monitors right now, there's two different games loading up at two different times, which is kind of hard to uh, grasp at first just because it's kind of confusing as it's booting the same stuff. But it's actually going to give you two different players, even though you're only on one Steam account. Which is kind of cool, and I don't know how this actually makes it does so, do so. So I'm just going to press on the first one, and I'm going to go to the second one and uh, press any key on there. And it's going to download some stuff or searching for stuff. And then as it loads up, hopefully soon, we'll be, well, I'll be able to show you how to set up a game. So actually, the second player loaded up faster than the first, which is quite interesting. So as you can see, this my uh, on the left, the bigger window, that's my... Uh, my main character which I've been playing with and then on the right is the second player which is only level one and um, so we're gonna go from the first players uh, game so click on that if it's windowed 
then you go to uh, network options and you're going to do a LAN. Just press on that and that's going to create a game for you. And then on the second window, second game, you're going to do the exact same thing. You press on network options and LAN. And then you're going to have an option for the second player and the first player, but we're going to go from the second. And you're going to click on find games and it's going to search for the game that's on your network, of course. So you'll see uh, that's me, one kawaii man, level 13. That's my exact player on the left side. And you're just going to double click. And you're going to be put in the same server, as you can see. So I have two of the same characters, but they're different, obviously. And even on the uh, right side, you can see that indeed it does work. Uh, just the same thing. The crown means which player you are. And yeah, it definitely works. Uh, I'm not going to actually play the game right now because it's too much of a load on my computer, on my CPU, while recording two different games on one thing. And OBS just doesn't like it. I tried before. This is like my third time recording this video. But all you got to do is on, your, uh, on the screen with the player that is hosting it, you just press continue or new game and it'll start it right away. And you both will be in the game. Just make sure you're playing with controllers because I haven't really tested it with two different keyboards and mice, mouses. I, I don't know the word for that. But either way, I hope you, I help some of you guys, whoever is watching this video. I know I'm a little bit stuttery and hard to understand, and I also am, I just jump everywhere. So I hope you can forgive me for that, and I hope you got through the tutorial and was able to do everything the same way I did and was able to figure this out. If there's any, if there's any problems, just leave them in the comment section. Yeah comment section and then uh i'll answer them as much as i can appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you next time thanks